whatever time of day it is. So this is just a nice joint warm up kind of workout. And first thing you're going to do is you're going to do Tai Chi breathing. So you're going to start with inhale and exhale. Got it? Inhale, exhale. And this is called soft knee. And then you just do nice side turns. You have back problems. This is either going to be good or maybe you shouldn't do it. So we'll find out. And then we want to do a little bit of a warm up. So you're going to step on the spot. You got to do nice shoulder rolls. Look at that. You can do that while you're warming up. And then you're going to turn your hands around. Okay. So hand circles. Make sure you splay the hands. Don't keep them all scrunched up. And then you're going to do the same the other way. Good. And then if you want, you probably can't see this, so I won't go all the way up. Just circle the arms. Now it's mostly going to be a leg warm up and leg exercise routine. So we're going to get to that in a second. We want to work the gluteus medius, which is right here. So out to the side, keep your foot face forward. And gluteus medius helps when you walk. So not just the outer thigh, but when you're walking along, it stabilizes you. Something many of you want to keep in mind. And then you can do the other side. So again, gluteus medius, don't turn your foot out, keep it straight. Great, you're doing wonderful. Now, if you can't do that, if you feel you're gonna fall over, hold on to something stable. I can't really do that while I'm showing you this. So I'm using this cane. I'd use a hockey stick, but even though I'm second generation on one side and who knows how many on the other side of the family, I don't play hockey, can't skate, don't eat Canadian bacon, and I can't drink beer. So I'm kind of the un-Canadian, I guess you could say. So I don't get to use a hockey stick, but if you're a hockey player, by all means. Okay, the next thing we want to do is hip flexor to hip extensor. And you'll probably see my foot's not perfectly straight. That's not super comfortable, but I'll try to do it. So come up and push back. And again, you can use a cane or a hockey stick if you want, or something maybe a little more stable, like a chair. Okay, so up, and you're gonna say how many times. You want to do it five to eight times. This is the gluteus maximus back here. Make sure you trigger it. That's why we're stepping back. Do not go so far that you're hurting your lower back, so keep your abs in a little bit. So up, come back, and again, like I said, if you're unstable, grab on to something. Okay, so come up, come back. <clears throat> Sorry about the voice. We're now getting into allergy season. Okay, so hip flexor, push back. We don't want to do this. So the other thing is we want to keep hip integrity the whole time. We don't want twisting, and that's on purpose. We don't want to do this or this. That can hurt the lower back. So hip integrity, call it neutral position. <clears throat> keep your hips square. All right, the next one is you're going to do the rotators. Now my buddy Gail taught me this years ago, and you can go like this or you can go like that. Again, it could be a balance problem. So put your hand on something stable. This is inner and outer thigh, okay? So we're not doing that. We're actually working this leg. So we're gonna come up. I have no idea how many I've done, but you wanna do again five to eight. Perfect, okay? It's not as easy as it looks if you've never done it before. Okay, next, what we wanna do a straight leg. Now this is a dynamic stretch. Dynamic means you only go as far as is comfortable and you will see athletes often doing this. So again, five to eight. Nice and controlled. I'm straight up, I'm not hunched over. So that's called spinal alignment. Okay, keep your spine in alignment, don't scrunch over. And then do the other side. Good, we're gonna work down the leg. Yes, there's lots more you could do, but I'm just interested in loosening this up. And 
then you're going to go in a circle with your foot. And again, by lifting your toes up, you should splay your foot. And then go the other way. And you notice I'm going quite slow. I'm not trying to do fast. Don't do fast. If you do slow, it'll work it. You'll loosen up the ankle. And then go the other side. We just got these pants at Costco a while ago, and actually I've never worn them before, so about the length. Okay, if you're feeling good, what I want you to do is we're going to do a few squats. Now squat is determined by how far you comfortably can go down. That means how tight your quads are, your hamstrings, or just how you feel. I'm going to do it from a side view. So I'm here. You step out until your hips tell you to stop. And you go a little bit wider and if the hips say go in, that's your most stable point. You squat down, right? Shoulders should not be way over. That'll go into the back. Lean back, that'll go into the knees. So it's pivot from the hips, then the knees. You can hold the weight if you want. Well, actually you can't for this exercise. And then you're gonna come up and go like this. And that'll get back into the rhomboids. So we'll do the zombie thing. You go down, come up, stretch back. We'll do it five times, down, back, down, pull back, make sure this stays in, pull back. So if you're down here and you're holding something heavy, draw the tummy in as you come up. Okay, I'm not going to get into stretches, but that's going to be it for now, and I'll try to do more of these.